Welcome to the Digitalized Taxpayers Briefing and Orientation. In this video, I will be discussing about the 1604C and its related attachments. You will understand the interrelation of the BIR Form 1604C, BIR Form 2316, Alpha List Data Entry Module, and Annex F. Now let's review first what 1601C is. 1601C is the monthly return filed by the employers to remit the monthly withholding tax on compensation of its employees. At the end of each year, employees are then required to submit an annual report to the BIR summarizing these total amounts of income tax withheld on compensation. This annual information return is filed using the BIR Form 1604C. So, who shall file the 1604C? This return shall be filed by every employer or withholding agent or payer who is either an individual, estate, trust, partnership, corporation, government agency and instrumentality, and other juridical entity required to deduct and withhold taxes on compensation paid to employees. When to file 1604C? The return shall be filed on or before January 31 of the following year. Where to file the 1604C? RMC No. 18-2021 was issued to clarify the filing of this return for taxable year 2020. For mandated users of the EFPS, the old form 1604CF in the EFPS facility shall be used. Once successful, you will then have your filing reference number. In case of unavailability, EFPS filers shall use the new forms in the offline EBIR forms package. For mandated users of the offline EBIR forms package and for manual filers, use the new separated form 1604C in the BIR forms package. Remember to print and keep a file of the acknowledgement receipt or validation successful message as proof of submission found in your email. Now, let's discuss the BIR Form 2316. BIR Form 2316, or also known as the Certificate of Compensation Payment or Income Tax Withheld, is a yearly certificate that needs to be issued by the employer to its employees. It is issued to each employee receiving salaries and other forms or enumeration indicating therein the total amount paid and the taxes withheld during the calendar year. This shall be issued to employees on or before January 31 of the succeeding year in which the compensation was paid, or in case where there is termination of employment, issued on the same day the last payment of wages is made. How do we generate the 2316? Use the Alpha List Data Entry Module. RMC 72021 announces the availability of the Alpha List Data Entry and Validation Module version 7.0. To download the module, visit www.bir.gov.ph and click on the Downloadables tab. Then install the program in your computer. After downloading, you can now use the module to encode details of each employee to generate the 2316. After logging in the module, do the following. Step 1. Click on the 1604C tab. Step 2. Make sure you are working for the correct or applicable year. Step 3. Click on the Add or Update tab. Schedule 1 is the alpha list of employees, while Schedule 2 is for alpha list of minimum wage earners, both declared and certified using BIR Form 2316. Step 4. Click on the Add tab. Now, you are ready to input the details on the fields, and that's step 5. Step 6. Once done inputting, click on Save. Step 7. To generate the Form 2316, click on the tab Form 2316. Your 2316 will then be generated in Excel format. Step 8. To add another entry for the next employee, click on Add as in Step 4 and proceed until Step 7. Once everything is inputted, that's it! You're done generating the 2316 of all your employees. Now, let us generate the Summary Alpha List Report. In the 1604C menu, click on Print Slash Inquire. 
On the lower left portion, hit on Excel Report. The summary of the schedule will then be generated in Excel format. Don't forget to print and save a copy of this report. So now, we are ready to generate the DAT file. On the 1604C menu, click Generate File. The DAT file will then be generated. Click on Save tab to save the generated DAT file to your desired location in your computer. Once saved, you can now validate the generated DAT file using the AlphaList validation module. To do so, click on the second fox icon, AlphaList Validation. You will be led to the main menu. In here, type in the TIN of the employer. Next, ensure that the taxable year corresponds to the year you are validating. Then, click on the form you are validating, in this case, 1604C. To locate the dot file you previously generated and saved, click on Browse and select the Save that file. Now, click Validate File tab. Hooray! Your validation was successful and there are no errors encountered. There are times, however, that errors are encountered upon validation. Read on the error message and go back to the data entry module to address them. Once validation is successful, you may now proceed with the submission of the DAT file. How do you submit the DAT file? The DAT file should be emailed to eSubmission at bir.gov.ph. Remember to print and keep a file of the acknowledgement receipt or validation successful message as proof of submission found in your email. Now that you have submitted online the 1604C, input the data in the entry module, generated and printed 2316, printed all alphalist reports, generated, validated, and emailed the dot file, and received email confirmation, what to do next? You still need to submit copy of the sign 2316 to the BIR. So, is it hard or soft copy? The answer is soft copy. As specified in RR2 2015 in relation to RR16 2021, the following shall be strictly observed. Scan the original copies of the BIR form 2316 through a scanning machine or device. Store the soft copies in PDF file format with file names alphabetically arranged in DVD or USB. The file names shall contain the following information, surname of the employee, TIN of the employee, taxable period. See example. Label the DVD or USB using format Annex B of RR2 2015. Also prepare notarized certification as to the content of the DVD or USB using the sworn declaration format found in Annex C of RR2 2015. Now, prepare the summary using Annex F of RR11 2018 or the certified list of employees qualified for substituted filing of ITR. In cases of additional pages or attached to the certification, a reference statement to the additional pages or attachment shall be clearly indicated in the certification with the signature of the certifying employer or its duly authorized representative likewise indicated at the bottom of all the pages. Submission of unnotarized certified list may be allowed by the Bureau provided that all the pages attached to the certification are duly signed by the certifying employer or its duly authorized representative. After saving all the scanned 2316 in a DVD or USB, bring it together with the Annex F plus the Annex C sworn declaration and have them stamped receive at the RDO where you are registered. Don't forget to buy documentary stamp tax for the Annex F. You may purchase loose DST at the BIR office or you may buy online and pay through GCash. Deadline of submission? On or before February 28. What happens if the employer fails to comply? Failure of the employer to furnish the employee of the BIR Form 2316 shall be a ground for the mandatory audit of the payer's all internal revenue tax liabilities upon verified complaint. In the same way, failure to comply with the submission or filing of the BIR Form 2316 within the time required by these regulations may be held liable under Section 250 of the Tax Code as amended, which is 1,000 for each failure but not to exceed 25,000.
Additionally, failure to comply for two consecutive years may be dealt with in accordance with Section 255 of the Tax Code as amended. In addition to other penalties, upon conviction shall be punished by not less than 10,000 pesos and imprisonment of one year to 10 years. Thank you for watching this video.